Don't jump, sit down. Good. Don't be jumping. Good boy, say hello. Good. Good boy, Norris. Good boy, Norris. Good boy. Good boy. Loki, come say hi. Marlo, say hi. Loki. Good. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy, Norris. Good boy. Let's see. Brother here. So we got a fun day today. So I got a unique experience going on right now. It's once in a lifetime opportunity that I had. It's a rare day that a breeder would ever have this occur. All four of these boys here, they're all brothers. And uh, the two there are Norris and Loki from Leaf and Tuba. The darker male is Leaf and Kai, and this big fella is Tekla and Leaf. So Leaf's the father of all of these pups, and all three of the mothers are sisters. Now it's one of those situations that uh, to have for a breeder to have three sisters is pretty rare in, in the world of elk hounds. And to have them all cycle at relatively the same time that you could get pups on the ground at the same time is about as rare as hen steeds. So uh, just something that's not occurring very often anymore. Now we're an old world preservation breeder. So all of these dogs are ancient old lines. Leaf is a new genetic for us. We brought him in to blend with our working dogs. And so what we've got here is a, a really high-end uh, working uh, set of pups out of Leaf. Leaf is a show dog out of the best quality show dogs we could find. Now, I'm not going to take all the credit for these great dogs. These are the best dogs in North America right now. But uh, I just lucked out and had the, had the wherewithal to assemble over the years all great dogs. The breeders that went before me, of course, are the ones that deserve all the credit. And uh, those guys have done a world-class job. Now, they're some of the oldest um, lineages in the world in, the, in this group of four pups here. Um, of course, the grandfather to all of these guys is Bram. He came out of the really high-end Norwegian elk hound hunting strains. Just a world-class dog. And uh, he was first generation in Canada. Now, what's unique about all these pups is I sat with all the mothers when they were born. Now, I still got the grandmother to Marlowe here running around the yard with me. I sat with her when she was born. The great-grandfather is still in the yard here. I ran up the mountains with him for a decade or more. He's one of the best hiking elk hounds in the world. I hiked hundreds and hundreds of miles with the grandmother um, camp of these pups. And so to say that I know these genetics well is quite an understatement. Now, the the genetics in this group are some of the very best that I could get a hold of over the years and bring in. And we are a preservation breeder, so we bring in all the very best that we can find to preserve these old lines. And uh, we go to great lengths to do that. Of course, right behind me, I got two pups dogs in here, of course, they were sourced 8,000 kilometers apart. So, when we say we've got diverse genetics, we're not fooled. It's, it's as diverse as you can get. Some of the very best of the Canadian dogs are in here, the best of the American dogs, the UK dogs, the Norway dogs, the Sweden dogs, all of, uh, all of the very best are in these uh, pups right now. Hey, that's enough. 
Marlo, Marlo, come here. Marlo. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Marlo, you better watch out. These two brothers will hang a beating on you. And this big boy I got right here, he'll be tuning in too. He'll be tuning you in, Morris. Marlo, he'll be tuning you guys in. You guys say hello. Say hello. Be nice. Good. Say hello. Be nice. Good. 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 It's the first day they saw this guy. I just brought him out. I'm going to move his litter bin out here. Kalia, don't do that. So when you're looking for a good pup, one of the key things, of course, that you've got to look for is genetic diversity so that you're getting a wide range of genetics so that the health of the dog is much greater. Now, any old dog is not going to cut it. What you've got to have is the very best lines, the healthiest lines, and use those lines to get your pup out of it. And if they can't show you a wide range of aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers, nephews, grandparents, great grandparents, um, then you got to you got to start to wonder why they can't because they should be able to. And uh, if you can find genetic families of dogs that are some of the very best families, of course, that's the route to go. Now for for us. This, this pup right here, this is the height of our program. It's a third generation dog for us. Marlo behind, right behind me, the little guy here, the big dark guy, he's a fourth generation dog. Now, again, the breeders that have contributed to these pups, of course, um, Leaf, I'll use Leaf for example. I got pictures of Leaf's breeder walking her dogs in 1970. She was showing dogs in 1970 in the very best shows. Kalia, don't do that. I got pictures of her in 2017 still winning shows. The very best shows. And uh, that's what I call dedication to the breed. Now, Bram's the, the grandfather of all these boys. Bram, he comes out of a kennel in Norway. Uh, Kalia, don't do that. Go sit down. He comes out of a kennel in Norway that they spent their whole life raising the very best Norwegian hunting champions of all. Marlo, don't jump. Don't jump. Dakota, of course, the great grandfather who's in the yard here. That's the very best of the old lines that reside anywhere in the world. And, uh, the other line that's predominant in the mother's sides of all these dogs is the Ravenstone dogs. They were bred for over 50 years, one of the top breeders in the UK. I believe they still hold the record for the most wins at the big show over there in the UK now. Just while I'm doing the video, I forget the name of that show. Um, doesn't much matter. They were well respected for breeding families of outcomes so they had mother daughter combinations sister combinations stuff like that and so they understood this breeding principle now leaf's genetics of course are show genetics since the early 70s but the breeder has focused a lot on bringing in and using the very best dogs that she could north quit north stop Hey, Marlo, Loki, that's a... Now, what are you doing? Settle down, Norris. Your brother would be kicking your butt. So, yeah, we got some uh, high-end dogs in this pile. Now, the beauty of it is we got them all around the yard. And uh, pretty boy Leaf, he's really shining these days. He's got a big, fat chest, let me tell you. So... It is with a great deal of pride today that I got these four guys out here. I mean, I probably won't get to experience it again, 
because the odds of all the sisters getting bred to the leaf again or at the same time are not going to happen. And the odds of me having three sisters at one time, um, all with pups on the ground, again, that's slim. And uh, the fact that I got to keep these boys for the training is what allowed all the pups to be on the ground here. Because obviously this guy's only five weeks old. So uh, I would have missed out having these pups on the ground at the same time outside had these boys not been here for the Desna training. Now that in itself is just a real neat thing for any breeder to be able to train these pups and all these boys are super skilled. When I say remote work, I'm talking middle of the mountains, snow covered bush, non-stop remote train, nothing around us for hundreds of miles. I can take those three boys and go and I'll be able to take this boy and go. And I mean right the way they are, one at a time or all three. So totally, uh, totally good rock star dogs in the bush. These are full work in genetics. Now the beauty of it is, even though Leaf's, Pretty Boy Leaf's been bred for the show for years and years and years, one generation, just one, and all the old instincts come flying out. So deep breed in Leaf, of course, and not, not so deep. His, his breeder's done a great job kept keeping the instincts up. But one generation with our working lines, and our females are the very best in the world. Good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. One generation, one litter, and all them instincts just come flying out. So they're buried in leaf, and they just come flying out on those females. Our females, I knew, would bring those out. And uh, so I can use a show dog with our working lines and end up with full working pups, which is beautiful. Now, anybody that tells you that show dogs and working dogs are the same, they're full of crap. Because I got show dogs here and I got working dogs here. And if they haven't seen a working dog lately, they haven't, and probably they haven't because we're about the only guy left with working dogs in North America. There's a huge difference in, in what goes on in the instinctive ability of a working dog and a show dog. <laughs> and uh, it's, I got show dogs here, boy, I'll tell you what. Um, I can tell you exactly what skill level they got in the bush compared to these guys. And uh, there's no comparison. So, Leap, he's very good, I've got him now he had the instinctive ability it was it was dull but it woke up but I got silver Nova here and wow that's starting to take me a while to get her um, instincts woke up she's beautiful stunning female but her instincts are really deeply buried but that's okay because I have another brother to these guys running around the yard mom and He's a full brother to this guy right here. Well, half brother to this guy. Same mother as this guy. And he's running around the yard here. And he's going with Silver Nova. And he'll fix everything about those instincts. Because he's full tilt. He has no show genetics in him. Now, I was trying to bring him in here too. But it would have been just... Kalia would have been chaotic. and just So I didn't bring him in. Leaf. Tuba. Now, Leaf, he's garden a joint behind us. He's got the outer limit pen, so he keeps the bear and the wildlife out of the pup pens. And uh, all the other dogs are around. But I think what we'll do, what do you say, buddy? How's my boy? How's my boy? How's the boy? I think I'll take these boys and get these three rascals out of here, and this guy can go down and run in the straw. So you just hang on there, buddy. You three come with me. Come, boys.